Hey guys, Crewman here, and I'm a huge fan of the 170HX to the point where it is the only car that I will be buying for mining in the future. Now, what if I told you that you could make 20% more profit on the CMP 170HX by triple mining, and you don't even have to change your overclocks? Stay tuned after a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by me, my channel, Crewman Tech and Mining. And as you can see here, I release a ton of content, at least three to four videos a week, sometimes more. And I span the gamut of GPU mining, CPU mining, a little bit of ASICs. I do gaming content, budget PC builds, uh, troubleshooting guides, whatever you need. I like to bridge the gap between PC gamers and crypto miners because in my opinion, I believe that every PC gamer is a crypto miner when they find out their GPUs can make them some money and every gamer is a miner and every miner is a gamer. Please make sure you hit the like button, you subscribe and you follow my channel and feel free to become a member as well. It really, go, it really goes a long way to helping the channel. So without further ado, let's get back to the video and thank you for your support. So as I was saying, the 170HX makes about half of what a 4090 makes and it costs about a third of the price. Now, we're looking at hash rate.no numbers for this comparison, and I am not counting gram, as you really can't unload it to any American exchange. So as far as it goes, basically it's non-existent for Americans. You look at who sat, you make about 76 cents on a 4090 per day. You look at the 170HX, you make about 39 cents a day with the stock BIOS. However, however, if you get that updated BIOS, and I have it in my Discord link down below, you can get your hash rate up to 127 mega hash on iron, which brings your profit up to about 48 cents. So you're looking at 48 cents on a about $500 ish GPU versus 76 cents on a $1,700 GPU. But what if I told you that you could improve the profit of Ironfish even more by triple mining? Most people don't think that, that you could triple mine on a 170HX because it has a pretty weak core. I was one of those people as well. But thank you to Discord user Crane who sent me a DM and said, hey, have you done any triple mining testing? And I told him I didn't. And he said, take a look at these results. This is what this is the results that he got that I was able to replicate on my rig. As you can see right up here, we're getting 124 mega hash on iron and 2.1 to 2.2 giga hash of who sat is the coin that I'm mining, but you can triple mine basically any kind of core algorithm. So as you can see, for that cost of about 40 watts, give or take across the five 170 HXs that I own, you're getting about 2.2 giga hash of who sat or whatever Pyram hash coin you're mining. But I'm mining who sat right now as that is the most profitable one. Now, how does this compare to real world profit? Well, if you look at the data right above here, you can see that we're getting about Point, uh, we're getting about nine cents profit in Husat. So we're getting about 18 ish percent more profit as we're getting about nine cents in Husat and 44 cents in iron from 46 cents in my mine, just mining iron. So it is definitely worth it. And obviously, uh, as you can see from filming this video, the numbers change, the numbers can change anytime. But in my testing over the last uh, three or four days that I've been testing this before I released the video, it's been about 20%, give or take, you know, plus or minus one to two to three percent, just depending on the value of the coin. But all in all, it basically costs you nothing to mine except just a little bit more watts. And as I'm about to show you, setting up a flight sheet is super easy. Literally, all you have to do is go into the miner, add a second coin, as you guys can see right up here, it should look something like this. You can mine to whatever pool you want. And then literally all you have to do, and I'll put a link to this down below, is copy, basically copy these overclock settings as you don't really have a lot of wiggle room. Uh, these overclock settings are basically the same as if you're mining just iron and zill. You, all you essentially have to do is change the number from, for zill from two to three because there's, zill is now the third algorithm. And that's it, you're done. And I'll have a link down below for this. So in conclusion guys, being able to up your profits to go from this to this and get you know about 20% more profit honestly feels like a no-brainer to me. Even in the summer, um, as you can see up the on the top, thanks to the PCSP Octo Miner that my 170HXs are in, these things are running pretty darn cool. I will put the Alibaba link to the seller that I use down below. Please mention that you're recommended from Croupman as it goes a long way to helping me with my relationship 
with the seller. Uh, she's a very reliable seller, and the GPUs come with the brackets you need and the power, the power cables you need to put them right into server cases. I've had no issues, and if you buy through Alibaba, which is the only thing I would recommend, you have trade assurance, which is basically the equivalent of eBay protection. And they ship pretty fast via DHL. So thank you again for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll have links down below to the 170HX, to the overclock settings, and the Octo Miner that I got from PCSP. So, so enjoy the extra free profits on your 170HXs. I think they are by far the best miner to buy for crypto mining, for GPU mining right now. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. Crew Man, out.